John Grimsmo here. Let's do an unboxing and a pseudo review of CNC plus LED plus USA. I love that he has that on his tape. This is from my buddy Ben, freelux.com. Uh, we've been friends for a lot of years and I just bought three of his new flashlights. I'm super excited to get these in. He did, full disclosure, he sent me this one for free because we're buds. Um, this is what he makes. This is the uh, FML. Yeah, FML, I don't know what it means. Um, it's a light. It, uh, it dims if you hold it and it goes dimmer and brighter and it's got a couple different settings, but basically on off. Uh, if you double tap, you get full bright. It's got magnets here, it's got magnets here, so it sticks to metal. Wow, from a little piece of metal, I can actually almost balance it. Like that for sure. Um, or you can balance it like this. So, super useful. Uh, later in the video, we'll do a bunch of examples of how we use this around the shop. I love this thing, I had to buy more. So, very excited. He did a little flash sale on his website, so I jumped on there and I bought three of them. Let's unbox this thing. So Ben is a super cool guy. Um, we met a couple times at various shows. He actually came to my house a long time ago and uh, he bought, get this, my Grizzly G0602 lathe, the first milling, like turning machine that I bought. Uh, I bought that lathe and I bought a mini mill from Grizzly. I remember I rented a little U-Haul trailer, towed it in the back of my Volvo 240 drove eight hours to Pennsylvania um, to go to Grizzly and purchased my first machining centers. This was like, I think this lathe was $1,000 and then over the, this was 2008. And then I converted it to CNC and then I started my business with that and I made parts and let's put up some, some old footage of that right here. Um, I had a big soft spot in my heart for that machine. And then Ben, Ben bought that from me in like 2014-ish, 13 maybe, I'm not sure. Um, so he's, he uses that lathe, my old lathe, to turn this piece. So it's like this full circle of, I really like when things come together like that. So I wanna support him and he makes a great product and I want his product. Okay, let's, let's get some unboxing experience here. So, um, bubble thingies. Ooh, ooh, these are fancy. This is new. The first one did not come with this. Okay. It smells like rubber. Okay, so I got three of them. That's it. That's all that's in here. Good, good. All right. I haven't even looked inside yet. Oh, I love this guy. Okay, what do we got? Caution, light head can be hot to the touch. Not bad. I like seeing how other people do packaging. I always find it fun. Um, I assume these little cutouts are for spare batteries, which I would have ordered if I knew it was an option. So this is the silver anodized with black buttons. These are aluminum construction. Uh, CNC machine, the dude's got a brother Speedio in his garage. Uh, he does his own anodizing in-house, which I super respect because I used to do that too. Um, frosted lens. It is does not work because I think you gotta take the tail cap off and uh, probably pull a little sticker off the batteries. So it's super simple, tail cap comes off like that, but there are no batteries in here. Did I buy these without batteries? Maybe. Maybe, I don't know. All right, so that's the silver one. And then rinse and repeat. What else did I get? I think I got a blue one and a purple one. Black one. Oh, black with purple, violet. Are there batteries in this one? Let's see. No, no batteries. I think I bought these without batteries. So either that's an option that I made a mistake and didn't choose, or um, 
maybe Ben could have communicated a little bit more clearly that it's a, an extra or something because I just, I, I wish it came with batteries. But not to be critical or anything. And same thing with the blue. Also, I'm assuming no batteries. Yes, no batteries. Okay, so. I mean, not a big deal, but uh, they take 14 550s or something. I'm not sure. Okay, so they take uh, 14 500 batteries. These are what came with the first one that he sent me. Um, these are ICR 14 500, uh, 1000 milliamp hour, 3.7 volt batteries. He also has programmed it to be able to take double A's, just a regular old off the shelf uh, rechargeable or alkaline, I'm not sure on that, um, double A. So it can run on 1.5 volts or 3.7 volts. Pretty cool little circuitry. I know he has his own circuit boards uh, custom built. And even in here, it says Freelux on the board. Love that. Love it. And I mean, the guy's just a, just a really nice guy. He's based in Chicago. He's, he's an IT guy in his day job and he does this at home, um, make some extra money and have some fun and get to be a machinist, a self-taught machinist like all of us. And uh, I just, I love watching his story. I love uh, following him and supporting him. Okay, let's grab some rechargeable batteries and we'll put them in the, uh, in the lights. We got our battery drawer here. Um, my other favorite flashlight maker is Jason from Prometheus Lights. I've been, I've been carrying this, I bought this from him four years ago, maybe five years, probably five years ago. I've carried this in my pocket every single day. It's a little big, uh, Peter McKinnon calls it the soup can, but I love it and uh, it's just fantastic. So that, that never leaves my pocket except when I'm sleeping. Um, anyway, I got these batteries from him, GP Recycle batteries. So they're double A's, but they're rechargeable. Um, so I think I think Ben's light is less powerful, less bright, with a uh, you know, like double A style battery, and it's brighter with a 3.7 volt battery. But these should be fine. Let's light them up, and then I'll show you guys how we use this around the shop and why I wanted four of them. I remember seeing Instagram posts of his um, trying to figure out battery tolerance because he drills and bores these holes. Now, I assume batteries are made in different tolerance zones, different thicknesses. Uh, you don't want it to be too tight that some batteries don't fit. You don't want it to be so loose that they like jiggle around and, and get annoying. So he's trying to find that balance. But these ones are, this, this just happens to be so perfect that when I push one down, the other comes up. And that's, that's fairly tight tolerance for a battery. Kind of cool. It is sealed with an O-ring. So they are relatively waterproof. Meaning uh, don't worry so much about getting coolant or rain or whatever on them. And it has blue anodizing and the tumbling is really nice. It's got a really good stone selection. Um, just a nice crackled finish. Okay, it's got batteries and we have power. So it's pretty, fairly simple intuitive interface. Um, click it once, you, you enter the mode that you're at. Um, double click for full brightness and if you click and hold, it fades down to zero and then click and hold again, it'll fade up to max and then it'll remember, if I go back to middle, there we go, uh, turn it off, it'll remember where you left off. Fairly standard mode setting, really easy, I love it. He uses lock line um, to articulate and flex and the wires go through here to his nice LED with a frosted tip. And yeah, he's even got his machined accent ring right there that's anodized to match everything else. So just a great product. I think it was like 200 bucks. Um, very happy with that price point and uh, maybe a little bit more than 200. It's great. Let's use it. And if you really need some extra light, sometimes 
the magnets are aligned perfectly that they go together. Kind of silly. Um, I noticed that some of the other kits are not perfectly aligned. So it's just how he's installing the, the magnets, getting the polarity even or not. But that's not a feature, it's just like a silly little thing I'm noticing. Like these two repel, but two of the other ones did go together. It's cool though. All right, thanks for watching guys. Uh, ben doesn't know I'm making this video, but I thought it'd be just fun to share with you guys my new laser engraved Freelux FML lights. Uh, check out his website. He's most active on Instagram, and I think you can sign up on his website as well. But uh, just a great dude. I love supporting great dudes. We've got a really great community, especially on Instagram, of machinists and entrepreneurs and guys like me that I just really get along with. Um, I don't always get along with most people in the world because I don't talk about sports and I have nothing to talk about. But machining, business, I'm all in for that. So uh, yeah, Ben's one of those guys. Anyway, take care guys, bye.